Hello everyone, welcome to back my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. 90 Day Fiancé Season 7 featured some couples and cast members who are still relevant in the franchise today and others who are not or shouldn't be. Season 7 aired from late 2019 to early 2020 and followed eight couples. Angela Deem and Michael Alsami, Natalie Mordotseva and Mike Youngquist, Blake Abelard and Jasmine Lautnin, Robert Springs and Annie Francisco, Tanya Maduro and Singin Colchester, Michael Jessen and Juliana Custodio, Anna Campisi and Mersel Mistanoglu, and Emily Larina and Sasha Lorin all appeared on the OG show. Natalie and Mike were the only couple who didn't marry as their storyline was set in Ukraine before Natalie's K-1 visa was approved. Angela and Michael's K-1 visa was denied in 90 Day Fiancé Season 7, and Angela went to Nigeria and married Michael there instead. In a 90 Day Fiancé first, Mercer left America after coming to an impasse with Anna about telling his family about her kids only to change his mind and return to get married on the last day of the visa. Season 7 was Mike and Natalie's franchise debut as well as Tanya and Singin's. Other notable dynamics at play in Season 7 were Michael and Juliana's 19-year age difference and Robert having five children with four exes upon marrying Annie. Angela and Michael had already been on several seasons of 90 Day Fiancé. Before the 90 days before going in 90 Day Fiancé Season 7, and they have continued to appear in franchise spin-offs ever since. They remained strong characters in the franchise, and for good reason, because there is never a shortage of drama and escalation. Angela and Michael also appeared in 90 Day, The Last Resort, which was a group therapy-based spin-off. The pair sorted out their differences after Michael emotionally cheated on Angela. In a shocking turn of events fans thought would never happen, Michael got his spousal visa approved in December 2023. He came to America with Angela after it was approved. Angela being in Ivory Coast with Michael for his visa interview and their subsequent journey to America was the focus of the beginning of their storyline in 90 Day Fiancé. Happily Ever After, Season 8 he Season 8 is currently two episodes into a Big Brother-style five-part tell-all via Access Hollywood. The tell-all was filmed in January 2024, while Michael and Angela were still together. Michael ran away from Angela in February 2024 and currently lives in Texas and has a big community of friends and 90-day alum pals. Now that Angela and Michael are broken up, there is potential for both of them to be cast in 90 Day, The Single Life. In fact, they are both rumored to be filming for it. Angela and Michael's 90 Day Fiance reign could know no bounds at this point, and there's every indication they will be relevant in the franchise for some time to come. Viewers have been watching their journey since 2018. Angela and Michael had already been on several seasons of 90 Day Fiance. Before the 90 days before going in 90 Day Fiancé Season 7, and they have continued to appear in franchise spin-offs ever since. They remain strong characters in the franchise, and for good reason, because there is never a shortage of drama and escalation. Tanya and Singin appeared on one season of 90 Day Fiancé, Happily Ever After, and 90 Day Diaries before their split. They each went on to be cast members on 90 Day, the single life in separate seasons. Tanya and Singin have lost most of their relevancy at this point. Robert and Annie are staples on 90 Day Fiancé, Pillow Talk, where their commentary on currently airing seasons is popular among viewers. Their dynamic works on that spinoff and there is no need for them to have airtime on any of the other shows because their storyline would be boring. However, Annie is currently pregnant with her third child with Robert, Robert's eighth. Tragically, Robert and Annie's son Adriel died in April 2022, and the pair have been in mourning. 
having them appear in 90 Day Fianza, happily ever after, might be a good move to highlight a functioning couple dealing with very real life events. The pair have always had a funny banter between them, and watching them in their lives as parents together could prove interesting. Robert and Annie are beloved by 90 DF fans, so a return to one of the bigger shows would be welcomed. Mike and Natalie appeared on 90 Day Fiancé Season 8 and 90 Day Fiancé, Happily Ever After, Season 7, and their relationship post-split, and Natalie's singleness have been focused on in three seasons of 90 Day, The Single Life. Since Natalie is an aspiring actress and a major clout chaser, she will try everything to stay relevant and keep appearing. Michael and Juliana's post-90-day fiancé season 7 life has been more.